Hi students, Professor Laney here. I am gonna do this quick little tutorial video on how to be successful at a journal. Um, let's see, let's share the screen and let me show you what it looks like when you are in Canvas. So when you're in our course here, this is our class, um, you can click on assignments and it has every single assignment grouped up by sections. And so all the notes are in one place, all these reflection journals are in one place, and so this is another way to navigate your course, but that's kind of how I do it. Make sure everything is in a library sense, and then I put it into the modules. So for the um, weekly reflection journal, this is called a formative assessment. This is not like a quiz. This is seeing how you're forming your own learning. So I'm really, really excited to make sure that um, you are learning in your own way because everybody learns different, correct? Now, remember, this is in five small parts, and I put here that it's five sentences each. Now, you can do six, you can do a couple more, but if you go under five, that means you're not even really giving it your full effort. So five points for each section, five times five is 25. This is a lot. This is 25 points a week. Um, I did for the eight-week class, I did it for a one journal per week. So I think that's that keeps it manageable but that also makes you have to write on both chapters. So let's go down it, please. We can go down those sections. First one is a class reflection. So in an eight week class, you're gonna do two chapters in a week. And so your class reflection is, what did I learn in these last two chapters? Now week one only has one chapter, mind you. Um, so it gives you a practice, a scaffolded practice before you have to do two in one week. So in this class reflection, you could say chapter four, chapter five, right? What did I learn in chapter four that stuck out to me? What did I learn in chapter five that stuck out to me? Everybody, you don't have to teach me here. You just have to show what made an impression on you. A lot of people try to teach me like I've never seen it or heard it before. Trust me, I've seen it and heard it before. Um, tell me what's impactful for you. This is the difference between high school and college. We're seeing not what I want you to learn, but what you are actually learning, right? That's that's a big difference. It takes a minute to actually get that in. Also, um, take these reflections of what you learned in the class and how can you apply it in the center like this week? Or maybe if it's talking about infants and you're not working with infants, you could say, I learned this about infants and now I can see that de development has applied to their preschool age. They're, you know, three, they're three and four. And I could see how this maybe as a infant led to them today. Now, again, everything that we've experienced as an infant has led us to where we are now. So you should be able to take what you've learned in the book, in the chapter, and apply it to what you're doing now in the center or what you may be doing in the future in a different center, right? So it's up to you whether you say, I could use this today or I could use this in the future. Uh, every once in a while, somebody says, I can't use that today and I can't use that in the future. Don't do that. Well, you can, but you're not going to get points. And again, we're not pushing for points here. We're pushing for learning right? This is not a one size fits all life and education has totally changed. So this is all about you and what you're learning and how you're building skills in order to be a great teacher. That's really the point of all of this, right? Now, part two is a center reflection. What did you learn at the children at the center? You could be like, oh, I noticed that when it rains, the kids are a little dysregulated, right? Let's watch our language. We don't say temper tantrums. We don't say spoiled rotten. We say they're dysregulated and they had some challenges this week. So show me what you learned in the center this week. Because remember, I'm not there with you, right? So I don't see what you see, but tell me what you saw. It could apply to this chapter. It could apply from a chapter previous, but show me what you saw in the center this week. This is a little bit different than the book, but show me, oh, I learned this, this, and that. I learned this, this, and that. Like, again, our center has like construction, like in the front right now. And the entrance through the back may be very just regulating for some, some children. So tell me what you saw this week at the center. Now, this last part is what do you want to know more about? This is how you really bump up your learning to the next level. This says, I learned these things. I saw these things, but something's rattling around my head that's that I'm not so sure about. And I want to learn more about it. This means that you're taking initiative in your own learning. Again, learning doesn't come from somebody else. It doesn't come from a book. That's that's content, right? But how you learn it is up to you. So show me an additional resource that's out there that kind of helps your curiosity about any of the topics you've already spoken about. It could be a TED Talk. It could be an article. It could be a journal. It could be a song. It could be uh, something about 
teacher burnout or support or anything like that, anything that has to do with your world and this topic and something that you saw, you have a lot of options here. A lot of people get stuck because there are a lot of options. Show me what's out there. Cool. So this instructional video that I'm recording right now is going to go right there. And let me walk you through the rest. Citations, always cite your sources. So if you're talking about something that you learned in our book and you cite the book, which you don't really have to, because this is like your opinion, tell me what you learned about. But if you want to cite a fact from our book, I give you a free citation generator. Also in LibreText, it actually has a citation generator up on the left, the right-hand side. It'll say cite the page or cite the book. Please get in the habit of using citations every single time that you turn in anything. It's getting you ready for professional or and or transfer, okay? Um, grading, ex gr grading extra points, I always like to give a little bit more. Show me what you got. You know, impress me, but don't teach me. There's a fine line, right? So I give a couple extra points up to about 20% over. So if this is a 25 point assignment, I can give an extra five points. So you went plus 20% over, which is fantastic. Sometimes I give you just a couple and sometimes I'll give you the, the extra five. Um, but also at the end of the semester, I drop the lowest. So if for some reason you missed one or you just phoned it in and bottomed out and you didn't get all the points, you're gonna be fine. Everybody gets like one for free, it's uh, 25 points. Um, then also I put a rubric on the bottom. I'll show you uh, that as well. Um, and when you're ready to submit, hit the submit button and go for it. You can type this one in. Um, or you can make a separate document and cut and paste it, or you can upload a document. This is not a discussion board. This is just a reflection between you and me here. Again, I've said this multiple times, read all instructions first, write a little bit more so we know you're serious because you got lots to say. I mean, if you guys can be chatting on um, Instagram like half the day, you got plenty to say in an assignment. So show me what you got. Uh, make sure that it's legible, spell check, properly cited, and use, use Grammarly. That's just polishing your stuff up into adulthood, okay? Again, my due dates here are target dates that um, I can be flexible with some of these things, not discussion boards, because those need to be happening in the week that we assign them. But in journals, eh, if you need a couple extra days, you reach out to me, tell me your plan, and it's always a yes. I love saying yes, I love it. Um, and also I said here that this is a private, you know, if I, if you share something in there that's like something about, you know, licensing or health and safety or something, I'm okay with that. We will help get you support. We'll help get the center support. So if you could say, I saw something that happened that wasn't really cool. I'm really confused. Like I'm cool with that, but this is just between me and you. And then I'll probably loop in Sarah to make sure that you guys are getting extra support. And then when you're ready to submit, submit your work and then move forward next. So here is the rubric that's not exactly done, but I will make sure that it is done. Again, I'm looking for all of these things here. Make sure that you're doing one section here, five separate sections, at least five sentences each, right? It's really easy for me to grade 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. But if one section has two sentences, that's two points. It's that easy. So I'm going to make sure I formalize that in the rubric as well. All right. I hope this helps. Um, and let me know if you have any questions at any time. I am here for it. And let's have a great semester.